Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at when the next bull run is happening, or at least my predictions for the next bull run. So lately we've seen, you know, kind of everyone predicting that it's going to be late 2025, just based off the data. When you look at these kind of articles, you say based on Bitcoin's past market cycles, we could expect the next crypto bull run to start after the Bitcoin halving in 2024. So that's already happened and reach its peak in late 2025. That said, the cryptocurrency markets are still very unpredictable, so making any guarantees about future price movement is very difficult. When we look at the power law, which has been a very big thing in the crypto community, or at least Bitcoin community, that kind of places the price at between 41,000 and 435,000. Hopefully above the green line, as we see with the past bull runs that we've seen. But there are a lot of other things happening within the markets that could affect this as well. So you see here, you have this first bull run. So the second halving happens in 2016. And then I think it's 13 months later, you have the absolute peak. So that's 13 months between the halving and the peak. And then right here, you actually have the third halving. So this is the 2021. And then this peak actually sets in at around eight months past or nine months past the halving. But right here, we actually have are halving as well that we just previously had. So this was in April. And you can see the price has already started to come up quite a lot since April. This is obviously because of the Bitcoin ETF. There's a lot of things that are contributing to this price increase. And we didn't necessarily expect it to creep up as quickly. As you can see with this halving, there wasn't really much action until about four to five months in. And then it started to really peak up. But with this halving that we're seeing here, it's pretty much on peak with what we're seeing. So as soon as the halving comes in, we're pretty much at an all time high for Bitcoin, at least up to these levels. Same again that we see in 2016, there's not really much action in price, but subsequently it starts to peak up and then gets to around 20,000. So all that to say is people are making predictions on when it should be. We know historically it should technically be within 2025 to 2026, but we can't really place a bet on that because there are bigger things in the market like the spot ETF, a lot of investments into that. Plus a lot of the Bitcoin supply is already out there. These, I would say these peaks at least are due to supply and demand. I'm thinking the 2016 one was definitely because of that and the one in 2014. So it got up to a thousand there and it got up to $30 back in 2011. But this next one was mainly because there was a lot of liquid money out there on the market. A lot of people had money to spend at the time. And that's why kind of every investment was going up at the time. So Bitcoin was kind of included in that and all of cryptocurrency as a whole. This time around, we don't really see much laying off of these interest rates or at least inflation rates, which would give people the power to have more money and spend more money freely. Plus, you know, people would borrow more money as well. When we're looking at the inflation rate, you can see back here in 2015, the inflation rate was very, very low, which meant that people kind of had more wealth that they could actually put into things. And then subsequently, that Bitcoin halving comes in around here and you see a massive peak around this time that we're seeing the inflation rates hit up to a top and then subsequently it goes down. So they are kind of linked, I would say, because when we come back down into 2020, these are very low, which means people have a lot of money or at least a lot of wealth that is preserved. And same with 2021. And then subsequently into the bull run right here, they kind of match up with the same chart of Bitcoin right here. And then we're kind of seeing a reversal of that as we come down into 2023 and into April of 2024. You can see that the inflation rate is very low here, but it might actually peak up. And that's why kind of we've sidetracked off from the Bitcoin halving consequently being good with inflation rates. And this is kind of decoupled from that kind of law. And we already hit an all time high before the actual bull run was supposed to happen. Then you can kind of see the same thing happens to the interest rate. So this means if the interest rate is low, people are willing to borrow more money to actually buy things. Interest rate is low in 2015. It steps up a little bit, but by the time we get into 2019, it's very high. And then it dips down in 2020 and 2021, where people had a lot of money that they could dump into markets. We see it with the 
overall stock markets and all of that. There was a lot of money being flown into there. And Bitcoin or cryptocurrency as a whole kind of took up a little bit of that market cap as well. And that's when we had these massive peaks that you see here. Which basically meant that a lot of people had spare money that they could spend. Right now we are in kind of a cost of living crisis where prices of things are going up substantially more. Which means that people have less money to spend or invest. They're trying to save their money and preserve it without breaking the bank basically. We have seen a massive, massive increase of these buy now, pay later things, which means that people are buying now and paying later. Subsequently, if you pay later, you're going to pay slightly more and the wealth is not preserved as much. Same kind of works as a credit card, but we're seeing massive influxes of these buy now, pay later and people using their credit cards to basically pay off simple things like groceries or something like that. And that basically leaves people with no money to invest into the market. The only people that have the money to invest in the market are bigger people out there that have millions that don't really necessarily need to worry about the cost of living crisis at the moment. But all I have to say is we've already hit an all time high, as you can see here. So if you're making predictions about, you know, the next bull run that might be happening, late 2025 is obviously a solid prediction based on history. But there are a lot of things that are in place now that weren't previously four years ago. The ETF is obviously the biggest thing and a lot of money is flowing into that which obviously up the price here and when seeing that kind of calm down a little bit that's probably why the price is moving. Weirdly right now they can accumulate a little bit more. Plus a more heavily centralization of miners to actually service the ETF. There's a lot of things that are coming in now that weren't previously there in the past. 2025 is still a good prediction but if we miss out on 2025, that probably means that in 2029, we'll see a bigger bull run than what we see here. So if Bitcoin's price kind of stays stable for the next four to five years, it might go up and down. We're probably going to see one in 2029 if it doesn't happen this time. Also, the supply of Bitcoin is nerdy mined, so the supply and demand doesn't really take as much factor in here anymore. Because we've only got around 6% left to mine. Previously, we would have had maybe 85%. And then in this other one, we would have had, I don't know, maybe 50% of what it was, which means that the supply and demand economics were much, much greater back in these bull runs that we see here. Definitely the older ones as well in 2014 and 2011 or 2012, whenever it was. So you can see that the supply and demand factor doesn't really factor in anymore because there's already a lot of circulating supply of Bitcoin right now. So all that being said, I would still place, you know, a good amount of faith in that it is happening in 2025. If we see interest rates drop, inflation rate drops off a little bit, that kind of eases out the amount of money that people can invest into the market that we see here. And that goes for kind of the whole market, stocks, crypto, most of them in general, gold even. And if that does happen, we probably will see it in late 2025, but we'll obviously have to wait. So keep up with the inflation rates, keep up with the interest rates. And if you see them rising into late 2025, there's probably not going to be a massive bull run. Not necessarily because people won't have the money left to spend on investments and stuff like that. So mainly we're taking a macro approach. So we're looking at the whole economic market, how much money people have to spend. If the buy now, pay later and credit card debts are going down, that's a good sign. That means people are paying them off and they're freeing up a lot of money to actually invest and spend in the market. This is kind of a massive macro look at the economy for kind of all countries, but mainly the US because they're the biggest buyers into cryptocurrency at the moment. So let me know your thoughts if you think the bull run is still happening in 2025 or if we're going to see what they call a super cycle in 2029. That could also be another option. And let me know your price predictions for Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies in the comments below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.